Hey everybody, Steve the Bartender here. I'm showing you guys how to make a couple of drinks in the basic bar setup. So what we're going to show you here today is to make a pretty popular drink. I made about 15 of these at a wedding a couple weeks ago. And this is a Cosmopolitan, right? So Cosmopolitan is going to have vodka, triple sec, cranberry juice, lime juice. And you're going to put it in a shaker, shake it up, and you're going to strain it into a nice little Cosmopolitan glass. I guess you call this a flute, you're going to call it a coupe glass. but I just call it a cosmopolitan glass because it is pretty cool. If you have different lines as to where you want to wind up, we probably kind of wind up on about right here, depending on how much cranberry juice we're going to put in. That would be too small of a drink, I think, right there, right? So the way we make a cosmopolitan is you take your shaker right here, okay? Got some ice in there. And like I told you guys before, my shaker has a strainer already built into it. So the first thing we do is cosmopolitan is we're going to go ahead and put two ounces of vodka so this is going to be an eight count so this is our fake vodka this is our prop vodka that we use in these videos this is our speed pour so we do an eight count for two ounces so one two three four five six seven eight so that's two ounces of vodka in there and then we go to triple sec the rule of thumb when you're doing triple sec type things when you're making margaritas and Cosmopolitans and whatever else that you use triple sec with, this is basically like a two to one ratio. So if your booze is an eight count, two ounces, then you're gonna go ahead with your triple sec and only make it a four count, right? Because you don't want this to overpower that. So one, two, three, four. So that's a four count of triple sec in there. And then we go with our cranberry juice, yeah, ounce and a half, maybe two ounces. That looks good and then here it's just about half an ounce of lime juice and that should be good and then we go ahead and put our top and then we shake it up you want to shake it up you know a nice nice mix in there that's the whole point of doing the shaker and strainer so you go ahead and get all the ingredients mixed up as opposed to pouring it into like a column glass or something where you're building it then you have to worry about stirring it this way everything's gonna be mixed up uh, pretty nicely then you strain it into the glass and like I said if you have everything mixed properly with the right amounts of everything it should come out to this line if you guys can see that but that line where I have it is the line right there I'm a tiniest bit above but you don't want to go any more over that because this is kind of a wide glass and hand to somebody and who knows they might wind up spilling it but you also don't want to short people when they're making a the glass. You don't want to go ahead, even if you put enough vodka, enough triple sec, enough alcohol in there, but you don't put enough cranberry juice to fill this up, and this is a little bit lower than that, they're going to see it and they're going to think, oh, I got gypped. You know, I didn't get it. I didn't get a big enough drink. Even though you got a ton of booze in there, you know, which is what really people come for the drink for anyway, right? So you, I always maybe go a little tiny bit over on this, and then it's like, oh, look at that nice big drink. And then what you do here is you go ahead and you take a... Um, Ideally, you take an orange rind. So you take the orange and you peel it like this and you have the rind and you go right here. Sometimes we don't have orange rinds. A lot of times we have orange wheels. So we have half orange wheels and they have a little slice in the middle and then you put the orange right up on here and then you serve it up. But that is, you know, like I said, guys, that's basically the, um, the ingredients of Cosmopolitan. So I go with a two, two ounces of vodka, one ounce of triple sec. Any brand is good. This is J brand to get it a jewel. It's pretty cheap. You can use DeKuyper. DeKuyper is about twice as much. And there's another brand called All Brands, which comes in a plastic thing for especially for restaurant and catering services, which is even cheaper. But I'm not sure if the private, if a uh, regular private party can buy that and have to go through the regular business. And then you obviously have your shaker and pour. And then I have my cranberry juice here. This is actually real cranberry juice. It's not fake booze and fake water in here, right? And then again, you have your lime juice here, right? You buy this, I bought this at Jewel. And that's it. So if this really truly had some vodka in it, it would taste pretty good. Yeah, I can taste the cranberry, I can taste triple sec, and I can taste the lime juice. Obviously, it's just water. There's no vodka in there. But that is how you make a Cosmopolitan, and thanks for watching.